All right. Here we are, the LA Convention Center. Today's the big day. Super big day, actually. Get to see a unicorn. I hear music. Are they prepping? <laughs> epic. All right, now I'm officially super excited. Five to nine. So basically one hour from now exactly beginning to go inside and sing this thing. Probably makes up So we're finally inside the big tent where Jeep is going to reveal the JT, or what is also known as the Gladiator. It's all going to happen right up here. Sweet. This thing with the doors and top off, windshield folds down as a pickup truck. 
Holy hell, this thing is awesome. Let's give it a look. As you can see on the inside, it looks just like any JL Rubicon that we even have, but with a pickup bed. It's only got a five foot bed, but it is fully functional. It has some kind of liner in it, which is really cool. All kinds of tie down rails, as you can see here. Looks like it's bed lined, in fact. It's not just like some kind of a cover. You can see that the rear seats fold down. We got these uh, storage compartments underneath, which are very cool. And of course, they mentioned the removable, removable speaker, which you can see right here. Pull on the tab to pull it out. That is very cool. For the first time, Jeep is offering these new set of Fox 2.0s that are proprietary, made specifically for this truck. Check them out right here. So as you can see, this one's actually got a couple bikes in the back with the bed down, I'm sorry, the tailgate down. That's pretty cool. So what do you think? I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. A lot of cool features on it. I'm pretty impressed, obviously. It's a great looking truck. I think uh, you know, being a, an old school truck guy, I mean I started wheeling in trucks and uh, really got into Jeeps later on. And uh, this thing looks great. I think I think there's gonna be a lot of full-size truck owners that are going to consider this as a great alternative because full-size trucks, as you know, have you know, the body lines and the overall undercarriages are not really designed for severe off-road. So to have something that you can throw bikes in the back, quads in the back, uh, a lot of heavy gear if you want to go, you know, really out there and stay for a while, and great off-road capability, I mean, come on. That's a great story, huh? It's the best. Yeah, That's it is. What I want to see. Yeah, and they, they equipped it really nice. Uh, you know, I think the suspension, you know, they probably worked really hard on that. So I'm really anxious to get behind the wheel, take one out, and uh, run through some paces. I think that's going to really impress a lot of people. I'm pretty confident they spent a lot of time and money on that. I know Fox put their name on it. We wouldn't have done that lightly, and so I think this is going to be a great ride in peace. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that I was able to see this thing with you because it is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, with the doors on top off, like that one over there? Yeah. Holy cow, that looks... Yeah. What Jeep or what truck does that? None. Zip zero nada. So talk about great summer days, you know, cruising around when it's beautiful out. You know, air, wind, everything. It's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I just want to take a moment and congratulate you and thank you for bringing the unicorn to life. Ten year cross, maybe longer. Ten? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been longer than that. You know how long it was. I'm trying to go, right? Yeah. And it's like, I don't get just what I want. I don't have conversation wise, and I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. So I sound like a frog. Yeah. Super excited. Super excited. You know, I've been dying for this, as you know, forever. Not just myself, but everybody on there, all around here. Um, thank you. We're, we're so grateful that you're finally, finally delivering. Finally delivered on the promise. Yeah. Right, so like, yeah. where do I recommend it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome job. You guys killed it. Thank you. Thank you very much. got done talking to Mark, but I know that you had a big part in this as well. It's, it's almost like, it's hard to explain. I mean, almost emotional. No, there's no almost about it. You should be very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is, is that, you know, for a long time, this has just been this, like, high in the sky, rainbows and fairies. Oh, big time. Right? So it then, was like, on and it's, on it's on. Well, what, how many years? 20, 30 years now you guys have been without uh, truck. Too many years. Too many years. Too many years. And the, and the best part is, is once we once we got everybody aligned and when we were starting to move forward to like saying, okay, this is the program, let's go, that's legit. There was no one second guessing. It was it was a full march forward. 
and that was a great day. That was awesome. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is Tony Carvalho. He's actually now with Dynatrack, but this guy actually used to work for Jeep and had a big part in this that you see in front of us. Yeah, a lot of sweat, blood, blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, there is slight modifications here and there to accommodate the different uh, requirements, right? Because it's the, to the payload now is significantly higher. <laughs> the towing capability is, is pretty impressive in my opinion for a mid-sized truck. Right, right. And a mid-sized truck that actually can, can have a top that comes off, doors that come off, and that's can all these things all together. Not easy, but, but achieve. It. So awesome. Hey, you know, Mark was mentioning that the, uh, the packs are a little bit different. Do you know what ways are different? Or? Uh, it's the rear that's different, not the front. The front's the same, the okay. rear is different. So there's some slight changes to the rear. Again, because of the, the requirements of being a truck, right? It was a very difficult thing, right? You had to make it meet truck requirements, but also meet like our normal Wrangler requirements, right. operating requirements. So we had to mesh that together. Some things had to be sacrificed, some things had to be changed. The rear axle, the suspension in the rear is dialed and changed a little bit to accommodate that. So how about like the frame? Is the frame basically the same as a JL or do they make it beefier to accommodate the truck? Uh, it's basically the same. Um, well, no, there's been some changes in the back end to, uh, uh, to strengthen certain sort of spots. But everything from pretty much B-pillar, no wait, mid-B-pillar forward is all the same. Awesome. Yeah. Now I gotta put my hands on them. Yes. <laughs> can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait to see what people do to this, right? Because it's a, now a new canvas. Right. A new canvas to do different things. So exciting. Super good times. I love it. <laughs> I love, love it. Thank you. They're gonna get all the designers up in front to get a shot. So you get to see who is responsible for this one. If you don't know, and you should all know, this is Rob from Quadratech. His videos on YouTube, badass. You gotta check him out. It's super informative. Need to know how to do anything, take off a soft top, install products. This is the guy. Man, I can't thank you enough for that plug, man. You make me sound like a rock star. You're a rock star. Yeah, you guys do a great job, too. I know. I'm always kind of watching, taking notes. I gotta see what you guys are up to, too. You guys are having some fun out there. Really up on this This is Brandon with Jeep. He's one of the guys responsible for making this awesome new truck available to all us passionate Jeep lovers. We've been dying for a truck forever. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so this is the all new 2020 Jeep Glider pickup truck. I like to say that it's 100% truck and 100% Jeep. Um, so what we did is we took the best attributes of our Jeep products, so the open air freedom, the ability to take off the top, take off the doors, fold down the windshield, the iconic Jeep styling, as well as the off-road capability, and we added to that real truck capability. So Gladiator is going to be able to tow up to 7,650 pounds and haul up to 1,600 pounds. And that's going to allow Gladiator to really embody the Jeep motto of go anywhere, do anything. So not only will Gladiator customers be able to leave pavement behind and get out on the trail in places like Moab, Utah and the Rubicon Trail, but they'll also have the confidence to tow their boat to the lake and haul loaded dirt bikes out of the desert for a weekend of fun. Whatever adventure our customers dream up, Gladiator is going to be there to make it happen. So Gladiator, as you can see, it's, uh, it's crew cab only, uh, four doors. We've got a five foot steel bed. And this is the Rubicon model, which is the most off-road capable mid-sized truck ever. So between the Rubicon and say a Sport, can they all tow the same amount or is there it's, a difference? There are some differences. So the 7,650 pounds max towing, that's with our Sport model with the max tow package. And then Rubicon can go up to 7,000 pounds and then our Overlink can go up to 6,000 pounds. And why is there a difference between all of them? Uh, differences in the axles. So the axle ratios, um, so with the max tow package in our sport model, that gives you 410 axles. Okay. So right, that helps give you the torque to, to move a heavy trailer. Sure. So I mentioned it's a five foot steel bed. We have a damp tailgate, so a really nice feature. There's also a lift assist, so it's very easy to put back up, not heavy at all. And then inside the bed, we have available our trail rail cargo management system with adjustable tie downs. And we also have this really cool 115 volt power outlet right in the bed. Oh, wow. So of course that's weatherproof. Um, 
resistant to water, moisture, all that sort of stuff. Sure. Um, and one of the other really cool features is the tie downs. You okay. know, most people think, ah, oh, tie downs are not that cool, right? But our forward tie downs are actually really cool. So they're actually on swivels and they fold too. So the beauty of this is right when you need to use them, you fold them out. But when you don't need to use them, you simply fold them up and then the cargo area is totally unobstructed, right? So you can slide in large things. It's not gonna hit the tie down. That's awesome. Uh, now, are all the beds gonna come bed line like this as well? That's an option. Okay, that is yep. an option. It's not, not standard. Okay. We can talk a little bit about the Rubicon, what makes it so special. I mean, obviously it has all of the content you expect on a, on a Rubicon model. It's got locking differentials front and rear, front sway bar disconnect, uh, rock track four to one transfer case with an 84 to one crawl ratio. A uh, couple new tricks that Gladiator brings to the table is we actually have standard Fox shocks. So we've got two inch diameter Fox shocks standard on all Gladiator Rubicons. First time we've ever had Fox shocks standard from the factory on a Jeep. And in addition to the cab rock rails, we also have a rock rail for the bed as well. And then the steel, the rear bumper, standard steel on all Gladiator Rubicons. Okay, so the, the uh, steel bumper group is not an option on the roof. It, the front bumper is optional, but the rear bumper, standard. Fantastic. Steel. I think I heard Tim saying something about the rear locker, how you'd be able to use it in different conditions. Like, what was that all yeah, about? Yeah, so, so that's something that the Jeep community has been asking for for a very long time. So with Gladiator, you're actually going to be able to lock your rear axle in four high. So you've never been able to do that before on, on Wrangler or any other Jeep product, but on Gladiator, you'll be able to. That's awesome. Do you know about our off-road plus bud? I do not know about your off-road. Let's talk about the off-road okay. plus bud. So you can find the off-road plus bud right next to your locker switches as well as your sway bar disconnect. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna tell the vehicle what terrain you're on. And it's gonna adjust certain parameters of the vehicle to optimize it for that terrain. So automatically? In, automatically. So it's gonna adjust your throttle, uh, your engine calibration, your transmission calibration, uh, as far as the, when it shifts, uh, it's gonna adjust traction control, stability control. So when you're in four high and you press that off-road plus button, it's gonna tailor the vehicle for sand and mud performance. Then when you're in four low, it's gonna tailor it for low speed rock crawling. Wow. So once again, brand new feature, never had that on any other Jeep vehicle. And one other really cool thing on Gladiator is our forward facing off-road trail camera. Can you show us that? Yes, take a look at it. So, it's mounted right here in the grill, and there's actually a built-in washer too. So if you get mud or you get dirt on it, there's actually a soft button in the radio. You just press it, and it'll wash the camera lens. No way. And so it's gonna display right in your radio screen what's in front of your vehicle. So you'll be able to see logs and rocks or any other obstacle. And it's gonna show your tire path too. They're actually gonna be two yellow lines. They're gonna be dynamic. So as you turn your steering wheel, the lines are gonna change to show your path. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, so, that is crazy cool. I can't even believe you guys got, did that. <laughs> we've got an image. So this is what it's gonna look like when you use the trail cam. So the yellow oh. lines, that shows your tire path, and that's what's actually gonna adjust as you're rotating that steering wheel. That is cool, and that's only on the Rubicons? It's only available on Rubicon. Okay. It's not standard, it's, it's an option, but only on Rubicon. One other cool feature, yeah. we've got a removable Bluetooth wireless speaker. So let's see it. So that's an industry exclusive. So no one in the industry has done a Bluetooth wireless speaker. You can actually take out and use like a regular traditional wireless speaker. Now is this normally part of the stereo system for the vehicle as well or is it, it separate? Does not, it does not function with the normal stereo system. Okay. It only works when you take it out and actually use it You're as a campfire and you, you want to listen exactly. to it. Exactly. Yep. So it's mounted behind the rear seat. So that's when it's in its docking station. When it's docked, it's actually going to recharge. And there's a speaker. And then you just use it like a regular speaker. You pair your phone with it. You've got volume, play, pause, power, all that. This is way cool. You've got one that's totally integrated in the Jeep. That is has awesome. the same warranty as the rest of the Jeep. So fantastic. Boy, oh, you guys went like crazy this thing, coming up with this stuff. I mean, you think about it. We haven't had a Jeep pickup truck in the marketplace since 1992, right? Yes. So since it's been so long, and since the enthusiasts, the community have been demanding it for so long, we knew that we had to do a good job with it. We had to do it right, and. I think we did that with the glider. I think you knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Great job, actually. Standard is the 3.6 liter uh, V6 Pentastar 
So same engine that's in the Jeep Wrangler, 285 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. And you can get that with either an eight-speed automatic or a six-speed manual transmission. Um, and then starting in 2020 model year, I think we did talk about, we're gonna have the three-liter eco-diesel yes. available in this truck. So unlike the JL, which normally has a tire carrier on the tailgate itself. This is a pickup truck, and so what do we do about the spare? So we actually just put the spare under the bed. So it's mounted, it's mounted right down here. I don't know if you can see that. And the spacing, we actually protect it for you to install a 35 inch spare under there. So you don't have to do any modifications. You can use the factory mount, and it'll just fit right up there. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah, Thank no you so problem. much. Thank Great you. seeing you again, actually, too. Yeah, it's good seeing you, too. So the question that I know all of you are wanting to know, including myself, is when can you buy one of these things? Now, no one's been able to give me a definitive answer, but to the best of anybody's guess, you might be able to place an order for one of these awesome gladiators by the end of the second quarter of next year. So maybe, if we're lucky, by about March. Meaning that we may not be able to get one of these Jeep trucks in our hands until the end of next year, but it's coming. It's coming for sure, it's real, you can see it and I'm dying to get my hands on one.